Before I start this video, I just want to say I have a $25 gift card giveaway going on right now. It ends at the end of the week, so make sure that you guys turn on post notifications so you can comment, like, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. The more comments you put on, on all the new videos, the more of a chance you have to win the $25 gift card of your choice, by the way. You can pick wherever you want to get it from. So I had a Kevin Durant build last year, and the, the main problem I had with that build is because it was a power forward, it was super slow, and I could not get any ball handling. This year, I decided to make a small forward build and to make them 6'9 instead of 6'11. And I know, every time I make these build videos, you guys tell me Kevin Durant is 6'9, not 6'11 or 7 feet tall. If you guys actually believe that, you don't watch basketball. But anyways... This year I'm making him 6'9 because that's what the height that he is in 2K and I feel like it'll help me get him to more of a KD type build. Basically I want him to be able to handle the ball, shoot, and not really be able to dunk on people but at least be able to do stuff in the paint. Just basic layups, dunks, whatever. Doesn't have to posterize anyone. Just a pretty much all around type player. So the best way I thought to do that was to make him more playmaking because obviously that would make my speed a lot higher and it would give me a lot a lot of the badges that KD would use. Like downhill, I really like that badge and I feel like that's super important for KD to be able to grab the rebound and go downhill and make it really tough on the defense. So that's exactly what I did. And uh, I don't know if you guys agree with exactly the way that I, that I uh, positioned my uh, upgrades. You can change them around if you feel like it, but I think that this is probably the best way to start it off. Um, whatever changes you guys make to wingspan and things like that, that's up to you. But I think that this build is probably the best way to start it off. It helps you to have defense. Obviously, you guys know KD is really good at defense. And also, your ball handle is pretty high. Your three-point shot is not the highest, but it's definitely makeable. As long as you make sure that you get a good shot. And obviously, you need quick draw. For that, any of you guys who have been playing 2K, quick draw is a must. You have to make you make sure that you have that badge, or it's gonna be tough for you to be able to shoot. Now, before I settled on this one, I thought about making them even shorter or even taller. And the only way to make them taller would be to go to power forward again. If you guys look at that, please don't do it. I mean, I don't know if the gameplay is different. But you can't change the ball handle. Really, all you can change is the pass accuracy. And I feel like that'd be more of like a Jokic to have a high pass accuracy and no ball handle. So I definitely did not want to do that. And at the same time, usually I make his weight the lowest and his wingspan the highest. I felt like I would have took like too big of a hit this year. So I kind of just made his wingspan like normal, normal length. So that way, at least I would be able to still shoot the ball my ball handle wouldn't I guess it wouldn't go any higher but it wouldn't necessarily drop either um, obviously you guys saw that my speed started off at like 88 but because I made him so much taller it went to 81 and I was only able to get two takeovers as playmaking and glass cleaning obviously if I could get shot creator that would be the most perfect thing but I think playmakers almost the same thing too if you can like cross somebody up and get an open shot it's almost the same thing as having the shot creating one. But the badges that you guys, I guess, would make sure that you have for uh, for this build would definitely be Relentless Finisher because it's not that high of uh, inside scoring. For shooting badges, like I said, Quick Draw is pretty important. Uh, catch and Shoot and things like that. I don't know how important those are to this game because I haven't used those yet. But I would assume, just judging off of old 2Ks, that that is pretty important as well. I know some people say they really like Green Machine, so I put that on. Range Extended, that's just the new Limitless Range. For those of you that don't really know like all the badges and whatnot. But once again, I would say just play around with it. But definitely start off with those basics that I gave. Whatever you want to switch up in between, that's up to you guys. That's the one thing I like about this game. It's kind of, you know, whatever you want to do, you can pretty much do it kind of limited but you can do it a lot a lot better than all the other games the playmaking badges you get 23 of those so you can pretty much do whatever you want there but downhill i made sure to have the hof for those who haven't used that try it out make a make a, a build whatever and test it out put out 99 and put downhill hof it makes your transition offense so much better and i already noticed people are using it on the wreck and whatnot but definitely for KD, it's needed. 
you have that and you and you learn to, to do that pull up three, that's KD's signature move, you're good. On defense, not very many badges, but I wanted to have chase down artists just because I want to be able to chase people down. I didn't really factor that into KD. But I mean, if I was, clamps would definitely be my number one priority. That'd probably be like HOF or gold. But that's pretty much the best build, I think, for KD. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments. Maybe you guys got better ones. I'm sure I'll make a couple more before the year's over, but this is my first KD build, I guess version number one. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got any other ones. Let me know if there's anybody else you guys want to do. I'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of doing a LeBron build. If you guys want to see that, comment that as well. And make sure you guys enter in for the $25 gift card. I'm going to be having park videos tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys then, man.